Welcome everyone, today we're going to be discussing the future of Hyperscape. Will this game live up to its expectations? What are the future plans for this game? Oh, and uh, if some of you guys are wondering why I look so different, I have finally received a haircut after four months of not visiting the barbers. Let's jump straight into the video. <laughs> If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to scroll down, give this video a like. Let's try and reach 100 likes on today's video. And if you want to join this hyperscape journey with me, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos on the channel. But now that out of the way, let's talk about the future of hyperscape. Now, after watching this video, one thing I want you guys to do is comment down below your predictions on whether or not you think hyperscape is here for the long run or if it's just another short term game that's going to die off in the next two or three months. Of course, it's very early days, but from what you've seen, in gameplay or if you've managed to play the game be sure to let me know your thoughts it'll be really interesting to find out now one thing i do want to say before getting into the future plans and my thoughts on the game is that after playing hyperscape for many hours there's one thing this game does very well and that's why i think this game is going to go places and that's the fact that when you play this game and then switch over to another battle royale such as apex legends or even warzone it makes them games feel very bad and horrible in terms of the mechanics other games just feel very slow and don't keep that pace hyperscape has so hyperscape almost creates an illusion and makes other games give you a very bad taste and that's why i think hyperscape is very special there is no other game out there right now that makes other games feel really bad to play and hyperscape at the moment feels really good to the point where other brs just don't feel that great anymore now in regards to future plans for this game the devs have actually said a lot on their future ambitions for the game and in terms of content the game looks very good and i think content is one of the most important parts when it comes to keeping the game fresh and keeping people on the game and playing the game they have said seasons are confirmed in this game and there will be multiple seasons like we see in other games such as warzone apex even Fortnite as well so that's really exciting but one thing i do want to say in particular which i think is very exciting is the cosmetics that we're going to receive the production manager over at ubisoft has done an interview and explained how the character designs are going to work and it's going to truly be something we've never seen in any other battle royale game the production team changed different fashion statements they change different clothing materials they experiment with different tattoos until they see the characters as real individuals and real people people with personalities and the designs match the character's motivation for example would this character want to wear a specific tattoo would they want to wear this outfit in real life and they've been working tireless hours and been working really hard to bring out only skins that are going to match the character's personality so for most of you guys have been commenting down below in the comment section on whether there's going to be a backstory on the characters or if there's going to be any lore in the game this is going to be by far the biggest step they have been constantly changing around different things things on the characters to ensure that when the new battle pass comes out and the new skins come out in this game you're going to really connect with the different characters and their motivation so i'm really excited to see what they're going to pull out when it comes to creating cosmetics in the battle pass and also for their store this is going to be really awesome so the big thing console launch what do we know so far well i did make a specific video on console but i will narrow it down for you guys that haven't seen that video so hyperscape have officially confirmed that the game is going to come out on consoles in the summer now the summer is finishing in about two months so we're due to see it very soon but slasher which is an inside source that gather information have actually released a statement saying that hyperscape have scheduled a date in early august for the game to come out on consoles and as long as there's nothing wrong with the beta we should see the game hit consoles in the early time of august now the battle pass currently ends on the 4th of august for the pc open beta so it could be on the 3rd of august that week which starts on the monday it could be that week where we see the game hit consoles and according to slasher the console launch is going to come with crossplay already integrated which is a huge thing for hyperscape and when it comes to the future of any game i think now it's kind of expected that we see crossplay with any future game that launches here onwards this is a big problem apex legends had and i'm still going to say it to this day if apex legends had cross
cross-play integration at launch, it would be a much bigger game than it currently is. I love that game, but the fact that they didn't have cross-play at launch was a huge hit for them. If it had cross-play at launch, then it would be a much more popular game than it is now. The developers have also confirmed new hacks and new guns are going to be coming to this game, which is really exciting as well. Another really important thing is regular updates, patching things that are overpowered, sorting out the bugs, and giving the player the best experience possible. And uh, I just want to say they have done an amazing job with that so far. They've almost given us weekly updates with this beta. Hyperscape are always listening to their community. If you go over to their Reddit, they're always replying to people and always trying to get feedback and as much feedback as possible. And I think so far they're doing a very good job in terms of balancing the weapons and also listening to the community's feedback as well. Now, one more thing I do want to talk about, which is very important. And I think every game needs this if they want to be successful. It just brings more people into the game. And that is, will this game become a competitive battle royale on a professional level in terms of esports? I'm not sure about this one. When I play Hyperscape, I see it as a very fun battle royale. So fun, arcadey, and very addictive. Do I think this game can go places on in terms of a competitive level? I think it can, and I'll tell you guys why. In terms of RNG, there is hardly any in this battle royale compared to other battle royales that are very competitive, something like Apex Legends, even Fortnite. Those games have been around competitively for the last year, and I think Hyperscape has less RNG than them games, and also has a better balancing as well. They also have abilities which can give a lot of creativity to teams, and I think competitively, this game can work very well. Be sure to let me know down below if you think this game belongs belongs in esports. I think it does. I think they should give it a go. It could work very well, but uh, on the other hand, I see why some people don't think it will work well. But overall, do I think the future of Hyperscape is looking good? I do think so. After playing the game for many hours, having access to the closed beta and also the open beta as well, I think this game is going to go places. As long as they advertise the game very heavily on the console launch, sponsor a lot of streamers, content creators to play the game, and more people are aware of this game, I think it can do very well indeed. As I said earlier, this game makes other games feel horrible when you go back to them. And I think that's the true advantage this Battle Royale has. It just takes that one game for you to have and you could just be hooked on this game and you don't really want to be playing anything else at all. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll be really interested to see what the community has to say on the future of Hyperscape. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new Hyperscape video.